What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys part one for my brand new playthrough on the channel for Paper Mario The Origami King. Guys, I am so hyped, I am stoked for this game, I've been looking forward to it for a long time considering the last game or last installment to these games was Color Splash and I had an absolute blast playing it, so hopefully I can have the same enjoyment coming out of this game. If you guys are hyped or you want to support the channel, make sure you smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button, seriously it goes a long way. Let's get this playthrough started off strong. But without further ado, let's get right into this game. Like, I'm so hyped for it. Like, you guys have no idea. Like, I've just been playing Pokemon on the channel for a good bit. Got some friend requests, as you guys can see. But I've been playing Pokemon on the channel for a good bit. Obviously, you guys know that. So this is a nice little switch up to everything else, considering we haven't really got any new games, really, on the Nintendo Switch for 2020. Like, we basically just got Animal Crossing, and now this. But you guys know, I'm not just a Pokemon channel. I am a Nintendo channel. So we're going to be playing through like all the Nintendo games, especially Mario, because Mario absolutely rocks. But the way I'm going to be doing this playthrough is, I know Paper Mario has a ton of dialogue, all that good stuff. I will read some of it, not most of it, because like I said, there's a ton of it. I'd rather just get into the gameplay and explore these worlds and get going with it, because I heard there's a lot to explore and this game is massive so i'm so ready i'm so ready but luigi mario head in they're supposedly they got invited to like a toad festival and all that and they show up to this place but dude the graphics for this game looking phenomenal like that's what i love about the paper mario series every single installment just gets better and better with the graphics and all that but i heard like mixed reviews about this but i, I feel like i'm gonna love this game but here we are we are in toad town and there's peach's castle right there but it's ghost town right now like tumbleweeds flying everywhere we don't know what's going on this is nuts this is nuts but dude oh my god dude everything looks so perfect made out of paper origamis all that good stuff i like how they have like a different like little uh mechanic in each game this one's like origami and all that good stuff but where's everybody you don't think we missed it do you mario check the invitation again when were we supposed to be here don't tell me you got the wrong invitation don't tell me you got it you were invited to the origami festival in fabulous toad town date circle circle xx peach <laughs> well it's the right day there you go that's their date circle circle and x's and x's okay let's go check the castle maybe everyone's inside yeah yo let's get going in there and we're in our little cart. Oh, I didn't even really notice that. We're in like a Mario Kart thing right here. Oh my god, I would love to get another Mario Kart. It kind of looks like I can drive this, but it's just driving on its own. I'm looking at everything. Like I'm, I'm just taking in the graphics. Like I cannot wait to use like the new confetti mechanic and all that good stuff. I really did enjoy Color Splash and the whole painting mechanic. Like I really fell in love with that game. I thought it was solid. I know like uh, Paper Mario fans and all that are like still stuck on like, oh, like it's not as good as the older ones and all that good stuff. But still, I think the games are really, really good in my opinion. But let me know in the comment section down below if you have this game or what you guys think of the Paper Mario series. I really like to know you guys' feedback and all that. But look at that. We're in Peach's Castle. Look at it, amazing. Like, it's just crazy to see, like, how they do the graphics and make everything work out just as paper. It's just phenomenal. Like, Nintendo aced it on the graphics again. I feel like the graphics get better and better every single year whenever they're making stuff. But look at us. We here in Peach Castle. We got a groovy tune going on. Dun, 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 dun. Here we are, Peach's Castle. I heard the soundtrack rocks for this, so I cannot wait to jam out to some awesome tunes. I'm going to park the car. Okay, I don't want to tip the ballet. <laughs> Yo, that's a, that is one of the things I love about Paper Mario is they do, like, little, uh, little funny things they'll say little funny things like that i don't want to tip the ballet so i'm gonna go park the cart myself <laughs> and it's so funny but look at this place looking all gorgeous looking all lovely let's get it where am i at there i am i think i can start controlling now sorry for the wait bro let's go see the princess oh yes sir i'm able to control mario how do i jump jump is a yes sir let's get it yeah that's it i was using a different controller like an xbox controller last night so it's just like the buttons are all whacked up but let's open up this door let's get inside where is everybody at origami king where's that origami king but yo look at this look at this this looks like the place that we saw in the trailer so i think we're gonna see that little cutscene kind of spooky in here isn't it and where's everybody i expect to see at least one toad by now yeah hey, yo where are my boys toads mama me i forgot our gift in the car i'll just dash over there and get it god dang it luigi forgetting the gift yo, what you mean shut the door on us <laughs> okay i don't like that <laughs> How am I going to get outside when the door is locked? Your paper, dude. You can slide through anything. Don't worry, Mario. I know just what to do in situations like this. You just got to find Mario, right, Mario? Oh. <laughs> that, see, like, that, those little dialogues right there. Like, he's like, whenever they have a problem, they go to Mario. And he was just like, I have a problem. I got to go to Mario. <laughs> well, let's go, man. Get rolling out here. Dude, look at this art style. Looking beautiful. Like, the candles and all that looking good. Even the curtains. But well, we hit, make our way over here, getting started here. Um, I don't know how long these episodes are going to be. I really don't know. I'm, I'm planning probably like 30 to 40 minutes per episode. Mario, is that you? Oh, who's talking to us? 
Let's see, let's see. Oh no, this is the cutscene from the trailer. If you guys haven't checked out the trailer, here we go. We're gonna see some. It was actually kind of like a creepy little trailer. But here's Peach, but she's in origami form. A little weird. Doesn't she look weird? How good to see you. That's <laughs> so creepy, man. The origamis are creepy. Answer me this. Shouldn't the mushroom kingdom unfold and be refolded until glory? Um, no. No, not at all. And what of those toads? Shouldn't they be silenced for all the eternity? Um, no. They shouldn't. <laughs> I see. Last question. Will you crease yourself and be reborn like me? Uh, heck no. <laughs> That's so creepy. Wrong answer. Right answer. It matters not. Your replies are all paper thin. Bro, like, that's creepy, man. Who would have thought that, like, origamis would be creepy? And she says goodbye and drops us through the floor. What you mean? What you mean? And we come down here. Yo, we got Spike Hammer, bro. We got all these dudes. Koopa Troopa. What's goody? You guys got sent down here, too, by Origami Peach? Always got to make a fla flashy entrance, huh? Are you here for the origami festival, too? Yeah, that's why we're here. This dungeon theme waiting lounge is a huge upgrade from the last festival I attended. Very classy. <laughs> you ain't seen Master Bowser anywhere, have you? They call him Master. They ain't like the big lug to leave us minions hanging out in the public event. Yeah, I know. Yo, Goomba, what's good? Whoa, Mario, you're here? Yeah, I'm here. I'm a big fanner. I mean, I've always wanted to battle you, even if I get stomped on. It would be an honor. <laughs> well, this is all exciting. First, I see Princess Peach, and now you... I gotta say, the princess was a little different than I expected. Yeah, she's, uh, she's folded up and she's acting all creepy. But, yo, origami shy guys pop through the door. Come with us. Yo, I love how their dialogue, they make their dialogue, like, a little, like, wavy and all that. So, it's kind of giving them, like, that spooky feel. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys can tell the origamis are a little spooky. They ain't not me. Yo, what you mean? You gotta leave me by myself? What you mean? I love the doors, too. The doors are all cardboard and all that. But, yo, we're chilling here. Mario's thinking. Hand on his mustache, chin, whatever you want to call it. Mario, is that you? Who's talking to us? I need your help. Um, I'm in a very strange place. Okay, who is this? It's crammed and dark, almost like I'm in between dimensions or something. Between dimensions? Not sure if I should be amazed or scared, but I'm kind of both. If it's not too much trouble, I'd like to get out now, please. Is there any way you can help? Yeah, of course, yo, I'm Mario, I can help, but, okay, so we have to find something. Oh, a hammer. Get me started on the hammer. We got our hammer, let's get it. How do I use my hammer? Okay, it's B. Can I break things? Okay, we can break them, can I break these big blocks? Oh, I can break this. Okay. Are you leaving? It sounds like you're leaving. Please help, okay, so we cannot leave yet. Okay, but we open up like a little thing right there. Can I break this one? No, I cannot. What's this thing? What is this thing? Oh! What was that? Did something light up at your feet? Yeah, it did. I can obviously tell. How was I supposed to miss that? It's a magic circle. That's good. I think I'm not really sure what you are supposed to do. Okay, with it. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. You know me. I will figure it out. I'm Mario. I can do everything anybody can. A thousand fold arms. So I think this is like a new mechanic that we can use. We hit X and we get really long arms. So how do I do this? I heard it's like motion controls. Unless I'm playing on the pro controller, which I am. I am playing on a pro controller. I think these are called a thousand fold arms. Try feeling around a bit. Maybe you can help me escape this strange dimension. Okay. Okay, try pressing R to reset them. Okay. Okay, so it is motion controls. But I can't grab... Okay, no. It is motion controls. But it's not that hard to actually do. I have to grab them with both hands. There we go. And I can rip it this way. There we go. Okay. So the motion controls actually worked out pretty well. That wasn't bad. But I heard you could turn them off. But that wasn't too bad. I barely had to move the controller and uh, just hit the button. So it wasn't even bad like... Like in Breath of the Wild when you were moving those things, like in the shrines, that was nuts. But this is Olivia. This is going to be our new little side partner for this game. And I heard she is a phenomenal little character in this uh, playthrough. Like everyone gave gave her high praise for a support role. And I, th I think she's, she looks awesome. But let's get going now. Now let's get out of here. And we, we made this little entrance over here. I'm going to get going over here. You know, I, I feel like I just had a pretty good idea. What's your idea, Olivia? What you got? I don't know if they always be good ideas, but I'm always happy to share them with you. Why don't you try pressing X if you're stuck, and I can see if I can... Okay, beautiful. So that's a way to pull her out and all that good stuff, is pressing X. She will come out like that. See? There we go. Oh, thank you for calling me. Bibbidi bobbidi boobidi bobbidi. That's all I want. And yeah, I know I gotta go through this hole in the wall. Let's get it rolling. So if you ever need hints while playing this game, hit X. Olivia will come out and give you a little bit of a hint. Oh, look at her peeking the corners. I kind of kind of like that the... Uh, I guess... The beginning of the game it wasn't too long it wasn't a lot of cutscenes. it kind of got us right in we're like moving and learning at the same time but we're over here now i gotta check both sides oh hey knock it off yo that was bowser's yo 
That was Bowser Joe. Uh, let me check out this way before I actually go to the right side. I want to see what we got over here. Anything over here? I like to explore, especially in the beginning. So we got this stuff right here. Cannot break that. Can I get up here? What's this door for? Can I open this door? Okay, that door's locked. That's totally fine. That door is locked. Fine, sir. So let's head over here. I heard Bowser Joe. Why, you little. There's a little crevice in the ground. I kind of want to break these. Get my coins. Get all my money. And can I look in here? Let's check this out. Is Bowser here? Oh, he's folded up. Can you see what you're about to do to my minion? And I order you to cut it out. Oh, no. Yo, look at the little origamis. <gasps> they got Koopa Troopa. That's Koopa Troopa Shadow. Oh, my. Bro, this is a creepy game, dude. <laughs> For a Nintendo, what are they doing? They just paper airplane him in somewhere. And they made him an origami? What is this? Look at Bowser. He's, like, freaking out. Bro, that's, like... That's that's next level stuff. They're basically killing people and turning them into different things. That is whack. That is insane. Hey yo, there they are. Look at those. They just look weird. The origamis look weird, except for the mustachioed one. <laughs> oh, they're coming for us. They want to turn me into an origami. It's not happening. Okay, maybe I have time to explain one little thing. Those stiff-looking guys are called folded soldiers. Okay. I don't want to alarm you, but they're unbelievably dangerous. I think we should try to avoid them. Okay, that's fine, Olivia. Thank you so much. So, they're unfolded soldiers. That's good to know. But can I go through this door now? I'm guessing this is the way I gotta go. Yep, it's open here. Where's Bowser at, though? Is Bowser over here? Give me the coins. Give me them coins. I gotta rack them up. I gotta rack up. Hey, there he is. Why is he like folded up, but he's not an origami? Mario, you're here too. Well, what are you waiting for? Get me down. Why should I get you down? Like, aren't we always enemies? Like, what is this? We are always enemies, and now I gotta help you out? But I heard in this game that, like, it's so cool now that there's, like, a different enemy. The Origami King and all that. Like, all the enemies and all that, like, are teaming up to go face off him. So, me and Bowser, I heard we're gonna be cool in this game. Which pretty dope. Can I smack you down? Oh, I gotta pull you. Come here. No, it's like pulling a banjo off. There you go. I guess I just hold down A. Yeah, yank it. There we go. We yank off Bowser. He goes floating in the air. And he's just, like... They literally took him and just like crinkled him up. Like, yeah, I'll fold you this way. Hit the crease. Fold the other way. Hit the crease. I kind of thought I'd just unfold or something. Ah, no matter. Now, as far as that secret, I promise to tell you, there's a hidden exit in this room. I heard those jerks talking about it. Lousy, no good, body folding jerks. <laughs> now, hurry up and find it, and I'll let you bring me along with your escape. Hey, yo, I'm bringing you along for the escape. I can do this on my own. I would have figured it out by myself. I don't need you. But there is going to be a hidden room here oh look at that okay right here here's a thousand fold arms again so i guess we gotta do this and it looks like i can peel something right over here there you go and i can pull it this way so yo it's not hard at all i literally just hit that and i drag it to the side where would you be without me yo i'd be probably out of here already and uh, i'd be fine i could have just left you in the dust but let's go bowser let's get up here onward to the castle oh little save point i remember these from uh, color splash just jump up and hit them and it's like a little saving block i think that's such a cool way to save you just jump up and hit the block Save complete, huh? Blah, 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 blah. He's gonna be like, Livy, she's gonna be like, uh, these blocks are how you save. Yeah, like, I already know that. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. You go to the mini button. Let's see, is there a mini button? Oh, we can look at this. We got start. We can check out our weapons. Accessories, okay. Weapons, boots, uh, map. We didn't unlock map yet. And useful items. Okay, that's pretty cool. Motion controls. I can turn them off, but you know what? I'm I'm not mad about them. I'm not mad about them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep playing with them. They're not annoying me, so I don't really care. But if they do annoy you guys, uh, you can turn them off, so there you go. You're gonna leave no extra stuff around here? That's whack. That is whack sauce, but onward! Up the spiral staircase. I guess we're trying to make our way out of the castle right now. Come on, Bowser. Look at him running up the steps. But, dude, I, I always love Paper Mario. I always want them to make an amiibo of Paper Mario. Like, that would be so cool. I feel like so many people would buy it. It would be so sick. But I heard the worlds in this, they look phenomenal. They look absolutely amazing. They look wonderful. Just dandy. Let's get going through here. Onward out the door. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We make our way to the top of the castle. Okay, well, pretty much the top, right? This is where we want to go, I guess. Let's see what we got. Let's see what's going on here. Well, we go over here, and the door's open, and Origami Peach comes out. Ooh. What's goody? Why are you still so flat? Why haven't you joined me in folded glory? I'm not doing it. I, you asked me that question, and now they want to reshape me. What you mean? Get out of here. So... Like, dude, just look at these people. Just whack. Bowser's looking hilarious. What is this? Or will we have to get Crumbly join us? Yes or no? I'm not joining you guys for like the thousandth time. It's not happening. I expect nothing less. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't have it any other way. 
Take a good long look at Princess Peach. She's better this way. What do you think? No, she's not. She looks creepy and weird. Looks like she's gonna murder me in my sleep. I'm not having it. <laughs> Out come two more shot guys. Oh my god, they got Goomps. They changed Goomps. You remember Goomba was flat like us? And then they took him into the other room? They changed Goomps. Yo, what you mean? Not Goomps. And Goomps was her biggest fan. Yo, what is he doing? Why is he why is he wilding up all creepy like that? Prepare to be folded. Nah, son. Ain't having Oh, we having a battle. Wave battle. Oh. First battle, I heard there's a whole new battle system in this, and I heard mixed reviews on it. Like, people say it's cool because it's, like, puzzling-wise, but people say it gets repetitive, too. But that's kind of like all Paper Mario battles, is they, uh, they get, uh, they get repetitive sometimes. But she's gonna help us, teach us how to attack. Thank you, Olivia. You're the best. But our first battle right here, let's get going. It is, uh, line them up. Okay, so we gotta line them up. I heard this is, like, the puzzle portion. Hey, did you catch that first message? It said, wait, battle. I guess we'll worry about it when we get to it. Yeah, yeah, that's totally fine, Olivia. Speaking of it, you're surrounded by four folded soldiers, huh? Where did the other ones come from? I have no idea. I thought it was one, but <laughs> we're going to line these boys up. I, I think I know how to know how to do it. I think we just got to line them up and then use... Uh, I know jumps go straight and hammers go for squares. So I heard there's kind of like two different attacks in this game. And I heard the, uh, when you get like higher levels and all that, higher worlds. Oh, we got to do this. How do I... Uh, how do I do this? Uh, confirm ring change. How do I ring change? Because now use L again to rotate the ring. Okay. There we go. Okay, beautiful. There we go. That's how we want it. So we hit A to lock it in of which ring we want. And then to rotate the ring, we hit L again. Okay, beautiful. So pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. I was trying to figure it out. I was like, yo, if I run out of time, what's going to happen here? But now we get, you actually get a boost if you uh, solve the puzzle. We get a 1.5 damage boost. And we're going to use our boots because it's better for a straight line. So I'm going to hit boots. I'm going to hit start battle. And I heard you have to hit A at the top of your boots like most Mario games. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. First. First attack in the bag. Beautiful. Oh, those are world famous Mario jumps. Yeah, so when you're at the top of your jump, if you hit A, you get higher damage. And I believe, uh, I don't know if this game works the same way, but you have to, uh, in order to get to the next enemy, you have to hit A at the right time. So, let's see. So now we got these guys in a different position. This is where the hammer comes in to play. Hammer will hit a square, so all four of these at once if you line them up correctly. But not that hard to line them up. But like I was saying, when you get to higher worlds and all that good stuff, the what's called will actually be... Uh, the puzzles will get harder to solve, and I heard, like, you can ask for hints from the crowd, give them money and all that good stuff. That's pretty cool, and you can actually buy more time, too. I'm gonna hit A on this, and I'm gonna turn these guys like that, and I'm gonna hit A again, and there we go. They're perfectly lined up. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to use the hammer, because the hammer's been the same in uh, all the games. So it has, like, this little, like, confetti thing kind of looking thing. I don't even know. It's like a pinwheel, I guess. And when it's at the peak of it, you have to hit A again. So you guys will see. So now, there we go. That was great. I could have had it better, but it's kind of tough. It's kind of something that you got to learn. So every time you do the hammer, you'll start to learn it. But when it's at its peak, you got to hit A on it, and then it'll fold back down. So if you miss the peak, you're not going to do uh, as much damage. But there we go. We get a good amount of gold, 486. That's dope. I just want to rack up money and be Rich Mario. Be Rich Mario. So you defeat the first Goompa. Bravo. I assure you it's far from the deadliest thing. Blah, 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 blah. I just want to smack this dude right in the head right here. And what's he floating for? What's this thing doing? Oh, it's the Origami King. It's the dude. It's the villain for this thing. Brother. Okay, so that's Olivia's brother. That's pretty cool. So this is the guy turning everybody into an origami and all that stuff, trying to take over. So like I said, me and Bowser, we have we have the same enemy this time. Like We're not dealing with this dude. We'd rather just be me versus him. We're not trying to have this third character come in here. His name's King Ollie. His name's Ollie the Origami King. What is he doing? By the time I'm done, all those miserable toads will be folded. Don't you dare fold my toads. You know toads are my boys. And I shall fold the crease and bend the entire paper world to my whim. The birth of the new origami kingdom. Nah, son. Nah, yo, we don't want no origamis here. Bro, how does Nintendo think of this? It's just amazing. Oh, we saw ribbons and all this? Oh, baby, going on to Peach's Castle. Not the ribbons. Not the ribbons, man. Hucks of ribbons around. And this is, uh... This is going to be our problem throughout the thing. I guess we're going to have to uh, unfix this castle and save Peach and destroy the Origami King. Am I, am I pretty good with that? What's going on here? Oh, yo, Shy Guy coming here. Shy Guy, what's goody? Yo, look at us. Dip and dodge and ribbons. We out of here. Yo, Shy Guy comes in clutch. Scoops up the gang. Me, Olivia, and Bowser. And we out of here. We said, yo, see you later. We gone. We'll, we'll come back and deal with this later. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Oh, takes it from the ground. 
What is up with this? What is up with taking things from the ground? I fit. Wasn't the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer like that where they took it from the ground, the castle? And they just took it up? They're doing the same thing here. Get some new ideas, man. Stop taking castles from the ground. <laughs> but yo, Luigi's hat. Yo, where's Luigi at? He's missing? He got taken in with it? Last time we saw him, he went out to the cart or something, or he left. Oh, he's gone. We get oh, we get ripped up. We get shredded up. We 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 take a hard fall here. But we're paper. We should just fall down like this, like you know. <laughs> And she places, or he places the castle all the way up on top of this big old mountain ridge. It is Death Mountain from uh, Legend of Zelda. So we're going to have to travel that and go whoop on him. But there's probably going to be a bunch of, I know there's a bunch of worlds in between. But our game is saving. Get it. Oh, look at me go down. Oh, landed in a tree. Oh, look at us. Yo, dude, the trees look dope too. Like, it's just crazy to see. Like, this is stuff. Oh, I got a mash A to shake out of it. Okay, so we mash A, we shake out of it. Oh, confetti comes out. But it's just crazy. Like, all this stuff looks like something that an artist would make out of, like, paper and all that. It just looks amazing. So I got a hammer and all that. It was over here. We can hit trees and all that. Drop confetti. I know what the confetti does, but we do not have our little confetti pouch yet. We will get to that a little later. So nothing here for us. We're just going to keep moving along here. Let's see what's going on. What do we got? What do we got? Nothing over here. We're going to have to do our folded arms. You need Olivia to use this technique. So where is Olivia? Where is Olivia is my question. Is she in a tree? Is she in a tree? She gotta be somewhere around here. Where you at, Olivia? Oh, Mrs. Olivia, is there somewhere down here? Hit this tree. Where you at, Olivia? Olivia's hiding somewhere. Smack up on these trees, maybe she'll fall down. Come here, come here. You over here? Where's she at? Yo, what you mean? Where's Olivia at? Hit this again. Oh, do I have to pull out X like this? No, I'm not here. She's nowhere to be found. There's my items, all that good stuff. Oh, we can go down this way. There we go. I was wondering. I was like, what the heck? Watch out. Unless you can float like me, I'd be careful over there. Yeah, I'm going to fall through that. You see that ground? Yeah, I see it. Maybe there's a way to fix it, but hmm, how? Oh, I got it. Catch this. And there we go. We get our little confetti bag, which is awesome. So this is like the mechanic. So in the color splash and all that, you would have to paint. This is when we see holes like this. We throw confetti and we, uh, we patch up these little holes with like paper mache. So, that's pretty dope. So, ready? I'll show it to you guys now. We actually have to collect confetti because when your confetti runs low, then you cannot throw anything. So, we're going to go collect some confetti right now and get rolling with that. Come here. I cannot throw any. Yeah, see, I have no. We have flowers and grass. Yes. You see all the confetti that came out of the trees? We can actually just walk around there and pick it all up and have our confetti bag actually uh, go up. So, you can hit flowers, trees, and all that, and it'll pop up. And there we go. Now, we have collected enough, but I want to fill up my bag. I want to fill up my bag. I'm not playing around. Give me all the confetti, man. Give me all that. Yes, sir. Fill up my bag. I want full bag of confetti. Come here. There we go. I think we're full now. If it's like fully green like that. I don't know what what is full. I don't know if we can still pick up confetti if we are full or not. But we come over here when you have a confetti, confetti bag filled up. Now when we get close, she says press ZR. Okay, so press ZR to actually throw confetti. Which is dope. Okay. Yo oh! There we go. Throw some confetti. We'll throw a little bit more on it. And I think we gotta go one more. I believe it will actually, like, yeah, it will open up the path like that. And beautiful. We get some coins for it as well. And we open up paths. So, in this playthrough, there's a way to 100%. You have to collect, like, all the chests, do all the confettis and all that. I don't think in this playthrough we are going to be doing a 100% uh, run. I feel like I'm going to just be playing through the game, doing as much as I can. And then, uh, probably on my Twitch stream, doing a, uh, completing this game 100%. I think that's how I, how I want to do it, because I always like 100% in my games, so I like to get like my money's worth out of it. So if you guys want to catch more content from me, head in that link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Hit that follow button, turn on notifications so you know when I go live. Alright, now where do we have to go? I know exactly where we have to go. I'm not playing around anymore. We have to go to that little 1,000 folded arms little section. So we'll go over there, and we'll show off this area a little bit more before we do finish off part one. Because I know this, uh, I'm pretty sure this forest is a little lengthy. So, let's see. Ooh. One of these. Let's get it. But I think our whole point here is to make our way back to, like, the town or something. Oh, we have to grip up the tree? Oh, we have to hit it, so I got to shake it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, get it. So we shake our little, I was going to call it a Wii mode, our pro controller. And we knock down the tree, which is pretty dope. And now we can walk through. Let's get it. Oh, yes, sir. And we got these little mystery boxes right here. Let's get it. Boop. Oh, mushroom. Oh, yes, sir. A useful item that can restore health at any time. So I can use them. we have heard about these adventure and resources called items you should be able to see. All the items you collected with plus. Press Y to select an item that you can use right away. So I can go into my inventory and I can check out my items if I go this way and see all them. And then if I hit Y, I can actually just use items right on the spot if I really want to, which is pretty cool. I'm going to smack this tree, get some confetti, fill up my bag again. Yes, sir. 
keep moving along. Let's keep moving along here. But yeah, so far this art style has been amazing. Oh, and look, we can see the ribbons. Look, there's the ribbons and all that. Wow, wait, I could soak up this view for all day long. I mean, just look at it, top of the mountain. It's so, uh, wait, what's that? It's the castle, man. Look at the castle over there. That's the outer crust of Peach's castle, isn't it? Yeah, they took it up. Oh, we probably saw something they didn't see yet. So they're now just finding out that the castle is all the way up there and all in ribbons. <laughs> yeah. So we saw that. They didn't see that. And it is uh, destroyed and tangled up with a bunch of ribbons. So I believe we have to uh, go to different worlds. And each world has ribbons that we have to destroy in order to unlock the castle. And then we'll probably go up to the castle and do work from there. Bennett, Bennett. Bennett, 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 Bennett. But yeah. Our plan here is actually head down and go back to the castle town where the castle is not at but that is our goal so we got a little save point right here i'm gonna uh, actually save here and I'm, I'm gonna keep rolling i'm gonna play this game for a little bit longer for part one i feel like i could show off a little bit more now oh wow i hit x i thought x was giving us confetti but yeah we kind of finished up the beginning part which is pretty cool oh no we, we filled it up with one shot so we finished up the beginning part which is pretty cool and now we can actually uh, show off a little bit more gameplay and this game in further further whatever i want to call it i don't even know but we out of here we out of here Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I want to do some more battles and all that. Show that off as well for part one. Gonna be part one. Oh, someone's here. What do you mean? Talking and all that. Let's keep rolling here. Oh, we got a little paper mache over here. I want to go. I want to go heal that up. Did I take one? I should take one. Yes, sir. Give me my coins, bro. Give me my coins. Anything over here? I wish there was a run button in this game. I feel like that, that, would, be, that would be good. What is that? That's like all thorns and stuff. But Oh, we got more here. And we got a little, uh, little, uh, Mystery box. I love to get. Give me that coin, baby. Yeah, the coins are hilarious. They're little, uh, they're little cardboard pieces. Like they're cardboard cutouts. Oh, I'm almost out of a uh, pair of mache. Need to knock some down off the tree. Give me that. Give me all that. We'll hit this. We'll hit this box. What do we got? Oh, what is that? A thousand coins. Oh, that's tough. That's tough, tough. Give me some more confetti, man. I need it all. Yes, sir. Pick up all that confetti. I ain't playing around. Her bag's almost filled again. But I think confetti goes, uh. Like, it's easy to run out of. Maybe we can get confetti upgrade bags later in the game. Oh, wow. I see I wasted another sh another shot of confetti. Oh, give me them coins. I'm early game. I need all my coins I can get. Let's see what we got. What are we, what are we doing over here? Bang that up. Yes, sir. Give me all that. Onward. I want to do a battle. I want to find somebody to battle. Oh, a chest. Where do we get that chest? That's the real question. Can I walk through the spikes? No. No, I cannot. That was, that was kind of dumb. Obviously, I can't walk through the spikes. That was so dumb. Need more confetti. I see a little golden ball up there. You guys see that? A little golden ball right there. I don't even know what that thing does. Look at that thing. I guess there's like cool little items here. But can I hop down here? Okay, so we hop down. Let me talk to Olivia real quick. Let's see what she has to say. You just hear mysterious voices, voices whispering mysteriously. Yay or nay? Yeah, I did. Kind of weird. Okay, so we'll keep heading here. Hop up here. See what we got going on. We got these little vines right here. Cannot get up there. What's these little vines? Okay, I can pull these little vines, which is pretty cool. What do they do? Oh, they drop things. Cool, so we're gonna pull up all these vines. See what we got. Oh, what is that? What's up with the leaves? I'm gonna go check them out. What, what the heck is those? What do I do? Hit them oh, oh, is this like a matching game? Can I hit that? Oh, okay, we matched it. We got a shriveled mushroom. A shriveled mushroom. Water would return to its original form, so we gotta get water for that. Okay, hit that. Hit that. Oh, we two for two, baby. We two for two. We're back on full health. Yo, watch me go perfect on this. Ah, dang it. Hundred. This is a hundred. There you go. Okay, so this is a hundred. And we have this in the bag. Go here. And this one's bag. So what? What is this? Does that refill my confetti? I'm guessing. Yes, sir. So we got a full bag. Okay, so that's how we know it's filled when it's glowing on the outside. So wonderful. Get all those coins and cool little matching game there. Get a little stuff on. And yo, a star. Give me that. Oh. Hey, 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 this game is so much fun already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm loving it. We patch that thing with confetti. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, this game's a blast, but we just got a star, and I don't even think we, we had any use to it because there was no enemies. We're gonna pull down these vines, see what we get. What that one do? Nothing? Absolutely nothing? What you mean? So let's confetti up this one. And we're gonna need two, maybe three on this one. Yep, three. Yeet. Land that down. I'm gonna break these flowers so I get more confetti. Thank you. Grab all these coins. Yes, sir. Give me them confettis. I'm gonna pull this. What we got here? We pull that. Oh! Give me that. A little shriveled fire flower right there, which is nice. Gonna need water for that as well. Give me these coins. Pull this one down. Oh, I cannot. Oh, there's a little, like, log on this. And what the heck? 
Okay, we dropped a flower for some reason. Oh, that's real, that's cool. It, like lights up. Oh, and it brought the flower back to life. Okay, cool. So maybe that water is what we have to bring our uh, little things to. And all that. What is that? A radio? What you mean? A radio. It's like a broken radio. And now it's fixed. Oh, playing some jams. Hey, you love it. And what's coming down now? A birdo? <laughs> Dead birdo? <laughs> Dead Birdo just got smacked up on the water, but I believe this is just showing us that we can throw items into that water and they'll bring it back to life. But yo, look at Birdo, looking all good. Looking all good. If you guys know me, Yoshi is one of my favorite characters in, uh, well, is my favorite character in Mario games. So Birdo's, Birdo's pretty cool. I like Birdo. It seems like a lot of weird stuff is happening here. I know, I know. It's definitely a little weird. We're going to pull this down. I pull this down. Last one. What do we get here? Nothing? That's whack. That's whack. Let me hit this tree. I want some confetti. I want to fill back up. Yes, sir. I actually see coins in the uh, in that log. See it on that side? So maybe I can go in this side and grab some coins. Oh, yes, sir. A little Paper Mario. A little Paper Mario secret. You guys learn a lot from jeans over here. We can hop up here now. Uh, can we go up on this log? There we go. We can do that. And what is that? This is this is the thing that I saw. A little gold ball. Actually, hold up. Hold up. I remember there was a chest down here. Can I hop down and get the chest now? No, I cannot. How do I get that chest? I think I need to come back here. I think I do need to come back here in order to get that chest. Maybe when I have like different boots or a different item in order to make sure or make me walk on spikes. That's something we would, we would probably come back to. Well, let's get rolling over here. See what we got here. We got more confetti. Yay. And, uh, yay. and oh, this is a big one. It's a big one. How many does this one take? Four. Uh, we need a tons of confetti for that one. Oh, five? What you mean? Thank you. We were, we're low on confetti. I think we have absolutely none now. So I'm going to start banging on this tree. Give me that confetti. We'll fill back up. For them. Give me all that. Start filling up. We run out of confetti quick. And we got another, like, mystery box here. Give me that. Ooh. Another thousand coins. Let's get it. Give me confetti, please. Give me all that. I'll hit this one here, too. And we will continue on our pathway here. I hit this tree, too. No, oh, sir. Give it all to me. I need more confetti. Hand it over. All right. This should be a good bit. That should be a good bit. Yeah. It brings us up to almost green. A little, little yellowish green. We do make our way over here, and look at what we have here. A little stump thing? What we got here? What you mean? What is this? That's weird. Alright, there's a path over here I know we can go through. Let's head through here. What we got? What we got? Bro, what? What's going on? Is this like the Lost Woods? Are they doing Lost Woods? What is up with everything doing being Legend of Zelda things? I might have to talk to Olivia here. Let me go through this one. Can I go through this way? Oh no, here's Olivia. Um, doesn't feel like we're not really getting anywhere. Sometimes when folding gets tough, I like to take a break to clear my head. Okay. You know, just sit down somewhere nice and flat, like the perfect stump. Okay, so she's telling us to sit on the stump. Maybe that's what we had to do. Try to get on here. Okay, so I guess you just have to walk around until Olivia tells you to sit on the stump. Triggers this cutscene. Hey, who's there? Yo, what you mean? Who is this? What we got here? The trees, bro. The trees. Can't sit on old Grand Sappy. His name's Grand Sappy? Is that Grand Sappy right there? The trees are coming to life. What is going on? Is this tree gonna come to life? This is old Grand Sappy, they said. Yes, yes. Call. Cool. Thank you, darlings. Bless your bark. You young man, go back and tell your flat paper friends what a state I'm in. I've hardly the <laughs> I hardly the hardwoods to speak, let alone learn some of your manners, hack. Okay, you look at all the tr oh, so the trees were the ones that were talking to us earlier. The trees, so they're like little whispering trees over here. Okay, so we're here, and Grand Sappy's looking a little sad. He's looking a little sad. He said he's in a bad state, bad little condition right here. Forever, I think that means really long term. So, someone did something to him. I'm guessing the Origami King did something to him and made him like this forever. Like, I'm sick of this. Oh, Origami, you say my eyes aren't. That well, you see, blah, 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 blah. What do you need? You need assistance from me? That's fine, yo. I'm Mario. You know I will do anything for you. That's a wonderful, generous. You truly are. I only wish you knew how to restore your energy. Anyway, we're in a hurry ourselves, so we'll do our best to help. So we have to find a way to restore the energy. I believe we have to find a seed for my boy. A nice little grandpappy seed right here. Or did he give me one? Or did he give me one? Let's see. Oh, we did we just restore it? There you go, child. Now you can... Okay, so... She opened up the path for us. So these guys have, like, magical powers. The only thing that can help old Grand Sassy get his energy back. Good luck. Okay, so did he? Oh no, I didn't mean that. Give me my confetti back. So let me go check out my items. What items I got? And nothing. 
and nothing. Accessories, map. Okay, so we're in the Whispering Woods. And it tells me my percentage. Toads rescued, not bottomless holes repaired. That's the thing. It's collectible treasures. Blocks it. Okay, so that's 800%. Look at the streamers that we got to take down. That is awesome. So we got all this info. Useful items. What's a useful item? All right. Uh, let's talk to Grand Sandy. Okay. Mm, do you have something for me? No, I do not. I do not. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's go, uh, let's go heal up Grand Sappy for this video. I think that's where we will end off after we uh, heal up Grand Sappy. But come here, we get we unlock this next little place. Uh, hopefully we can do another battle. I would love to do another battle. Mustache alert. There's a little save point. I'll hit that. No problem. No problem whatsoever. And I'll actually uh, fill this bottomless holes because now that I know what they're called. Pretty cool. Hit that. Yeet. One confetti should do the trick on those small ones. Give me that. Two coins. Give me them. Give me them. I'm in need for my coins. Oh, Goompas hopped out. Origami Goompas. Oh, we battling. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. We got ourselves a nice little battle going on here. Wave battle. They want the smoke. They want it. And we're starting to get into the nitty gritty here. Starting to get into the normal gameplay. We can start battling on our own and all that good stuff. Let's line them up. Let's line them up. These battles, the first battles are always the easiest. All right, this seems familiar. Not gonna. We're gonna line up these full guys. I got this. I got this, Olivia. I see the line. I see it. Your boy can do it himself. You guys already know it, so we're gonna go out here and we turn them over here. We're gonna step on them boots. Got them all lined up. Nice work. We're good to go. Send them boots. A nice little action attack here. Get those boots rolling. Yep, they're on your straight line. Let's get them. Attack. We got the times 1.5, which is nice because when you line up on the first shot, or if you solve the puzzle on the first shot, you get a damage booster, which is uh, times 50%. It's beautiful. Mario's turn. You gonna send these boots? Yeet. And it tells me when to press A, which is nice. There we go. Bang. And if you get A at the right time, you get a little damage boost as well. So, wonderful. But yeah, the first battle didn't tell us when to hit A, but now it's starting to tell us when to hit A. I guess that first battle was just like a gimme battle. It was just showing us like the mechanics and all that. But second wave comes in, and it's another little square. So I just gotta line them up and hit them with that hammer. Give me the old clapskis. Give me the clapskis, baby. We're spin out a bit. We're Olivia, we know this. We know this. Look what you want. Turn them around this way. Boop. Bring up my hammer. I'm going for that excellent hit. I'm going for that excellent hit. What you want? And what weapon you want to use? I want to use that hammer. We can hit them all at once. It's down there and place together. These enemies don't stand a chance. Have even more good news. You can use action mans with the hammer too. The burst behind you. Oh, yeah, I got it. I already know about that. I already know about that. I said that at the first battle. Mario's turn. Let's get it. Oh, that was a great one. I want the excellent one. I want the excellent one. He does like a front flip and he slams down, does mega damage. Does work on people. But greats aren't bad. Greats are not bad. But beautiful. We've completed our second battle. How much money are we getting? 507. Not bad. We're actually racking up the dough. 3,355? Some good money. That's a good amount of money. Oh, and he gave us a bunch of confetti. That is nice. We can use that to find all the terrible holes. Awesome. I actually need a confetti. Not like I was full, but we need that. So though, how are they already full so soldiers in the forest is deep? Do you think they're just going around causing trouble? Yeah, I bet. Bet you they took over the whole world. But there you go. They gave us a bunch of confetti, probably to fill up this hole. This is a massive hole. Probably going to take four or five little confetti shots. I'm going to throw three down. And, oh, three, actually. Beautiful. Give me that. Don't mind if I do. We come over here. Oh! Oh, let's jump on them. Oh, I believe if you jump on them when they're running, you do damage, uh, early damage to them. But, yo, this thing came out the tree. What you mean? This dude came out the tree. Oh, we got to line these bad boys up. Okay. Oh no, these folded soldiers are spread out all over the place. So this is another like a little tricky way. There's no way you can line them up in a single move. Okay, we have crumbled before our adventure has even begun. That's just mean. So we get two ring moves. Okay, beautiful. So that's pretty simple. So I guess some battles we get two ring moves, some we get one to solve the puzzle. So that's pretty cool. Or maybe like sometimes you get four. You would get four moves to actually try to solve the puzzle and all that. But this one's pretty simple with two moves. We're just gonna do that and then slide them over here and then bring out our boots and give them the old bobskis to line hot. Let's get it. Mario's turn. And I love how there's less dialogue now. There we go. Get them all. Get them all. I messed up on that first jump, but that's good to show that he would still go down the line if uh, you miss an A. But 2012, an easy battle. It wasn't a wave battle. It was just one straight battle. We take out Gloops right here. Can I talk to this tree? It says I can talk to it. I can't believe I had one of those folded things hiding in me. Is that what it feels like when you walk into a spider web? I feel terrible. Here, take this and we'll call it even. What are you giving me? Oh! Yes, sir. I'll take that all day. But we make our way down to this, uh... Was this the little pathway? This looks like the, not the pathway, the little water thing that Birdo and everything came out of. Oh, Goompa's here. Can I hit him with a hammer? Yeah, look at that. Hit him with a hammer before we actually start off. I believe we will do damage before the battle even starts. Look at that. Nice little force macaroni. And oh, we got multiple people here. Let's get it. Line them up. Let's line them up. Let's go here. Slap them down. Great lineup. Oh, we get, what is this? 
I saw two actions. Well, there's a lot more forward soldiers this time. We'll never hit all the enemies with a single attack. Is this the end? Really, our final battle has been on the fight alongside you. But we get two actions now, so I'm guessing that makes us do two attacks. So, before they attack. So, maybe I can do... Well, this is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to do a boots and then into a, uh, a hammer. Yeah, I want to do my first action. is going to be boots. And we'll slap him up with a hammer. Excellent. 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 Oh, excellent. Get out of my face. Perfect jumps. Hopefully, I can get an excellent hammer shot here. Yes, I knew it. You still got one action remaining. And we get a second attack, which is just dandy. We're going to bring out that hammer. And we're going to get smacking up here. We're going to get smacking up. Ah, oh, we got a great dude. I got I to gotta work on that. I got to work on that. I really want to get some excellence. I really want to get some excellence, yo. Bam, bam, and then to damn it. Look at that. Battle bonus. Get some nice coins. We rack it up. Just dandy. They come over here. What we got? Ooh, confetti. Just what I wanted. I love me some confetti. More holes I can pair up here. There we go. And give me them coins. Give me them coins. Come over here. Here's that little water right there. Got more confetti over here. But we gotta find what Grand Sappy needs. Grand Sappy. Oh, there's a chest. Maybe that's what he, what he needs. What does Grand Sappy need, dude? You need him to get the energy. I think we're looking for his little seed. Is this his seed in here? Let's see. Gotta be, right? What we got? Now we got a little mushroom collectible. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's a second collectible, so we missed it. I guess the first one was over there. You just try collecting more of these. Awesome, awesome. Let's talk to him. I'm gonna believe the restoration power on these dry spots. Okay. Any any uh, other ways we can go here? Can I head down here? No, let me go over here. I wanna see what's going on here. We can check this water right here. Right. Hey, this is that spring that we saw before. I feel calmer just, how it's, just by standing here. Normally, I wouldn't suggest this, but you think we should throw something in there? Heck yeah, let's throw this flower in here. I yeet it in there. Yeet. We yeeted the flower up in there. That's wonderful. Oh, and it comes back fully restored. Yay. Let's get it. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Let's go over here. Dun -dun -dun. We're going to put something in there? Yes, I'm going to put this in there. Okay, so where is Grant's Happy's little thing? I'm looking for it. I don't know where it's at. Did I miss it or something? Did I miss it? I already checked all back there. Um, I'm gonna head this way. I'm gonna head back this way. See if there's like another path that maybe I missed. Let's keep heading. Let's keep making our way. Maybe it, do I have to head back to where Grant's Happy is? Hmm. I know we're missing something. We are totally missing something. Grant's Happy, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Dean's coming back. Come find your little thing that you need. Let me talk to these trees. Actually, let's talk to Olivia. Olivia will probably help us out. Sound like we need something called the Soul Seed to help. We should get his energy back. Should we ask where to find it? Yes. I'm gonna ask this lady. She seems nice. <laughs> Y'all can go now, but we remo removed the curse, but don't come back without that seed. Let me let me talk to Grand Sappy here. Hmm, do you have something for me? No, I do not. I want to know where to find this thing at. If I knew where the seed was, I'd tell you. You do not know where the seed's at. Let's see. Oh, the golden fruit. Hold up. I forgot to pull it. I forgot to pull it. We're going back now. I forgot to pull the golden fruit. I'm coming. I totally forgot. I'm coming for it. Give me this. You guys probably saw it early. Oh, what you mean? It fell down. What you mean? Can I hit this tree? Is it connected to the tree? Did I knock something down? What is that? That's what I needed? Oh, yes, sir. A thousand folded arms comes down. Beautiful. And we can actually get this little thing right here. Give me that. Let's pull it. Yes, sir. And where's my seed at? There it is. We found the seed. Beautiful. We found the seed right here. And we got it. It is a shriveled seed. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to go give it water now. So I wish I would have had this before. Now we got to run all the way back and make it a normal seed. And then give it to Grand Sappy, dude. Then we, then we chillin'. Then we chillin'. Now this game's been a blast, yo. I cannot wait to get, like, deep into the game and different worlds. I heard there's, like, crazy different worlds where you can, like, sail on a boat, ride dune buggies out in the, uh, in the desert. Like, I heard the worlds are massive. Like, this is just something small in this big game. Like, this is just, like, little beginning parts. You guys already know the deal. Bam, 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 bam. But we did find a little shrivel seed. Man, yo, I was talking about that gold thing the whole time, and I forgot to hit it. You guys are probably yelling at me, like, Gene, you gotta hit the gold thing, man. And then I left you, like, no, what do you mean? But we throw in the seed into the water because it is a shrivel seed. And there we go. We're going to give it to Grand Sappy. And then be calling it. But I think we're actually going to be giving it to Grand Sappy in the next episode. That is going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And click that big red subscribe button if you're not subbed already. But, oh, hold up. Before we finish off, did you hear that? 
Grand Sappy's crying out, obviously. We already know that. We have to go give him that seed. But we're going to be doing that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.